Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The hypocrisy of this debate is utterly extraordinary. Everybody agrees that steel is of strategic national importance, and yet it is both main parties, led by the Conservatives over there, whose obsession with net zero is leading to the removal of our blast furnaces by both British Steel and by Tata. That obsession is killing our steel industry, it's killing our steel jobs, and it's leading to the inability to produce primary steel. Now, over 75% of all new steel generating capacity in the world is in Asia, and over 90% of that is blast furnaces. So our obsession with getting rid of the net zero... Sure that the Honourable Member is coming to a question. The question is, to the Minister, if you're obsessed with net zero, will you guarantee that if you subsidise uh, Tartar Steel with 500 million plus to produce new electric arc uh, furnaces, that that money will be linked to the construction as opposed to them take the money early and then Minister, not build them? Minister. Can I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his question? Um, he, t- he talks about our obsession with decarbonisation and, and producing green steel. We have to also go with the market. The market is now saying to us, we want, we want to buy green steel. If you talk to con- big construction companies, if you talk to big companies, they say, uh, we want green steel. Uh, that is what they are demanding. That is what we will produce. Uh, and, and if we don't, then we will, not, we will not be selling it on the same basis. Uh, So we will use uh, the money that we are investing through the National Wealth Fund to develop a steel strategy. That means that we can bring in new entrants to the UK, which the previous government didn't try to do, that we can have a vibrant, competitive steel economy in the UK, uh, and that we can uh, build really good, high-paid jobs uh, in the industries of the future, uh, which is is the green industries. If we we fall behind, others will, will come before us and take our jobs. 